What's going on guys? So you're watching Johnson Vlog and today we got something special going on here. We got a new project bike and I got a new business partner. This will be mine and Justin's first bike we're sharing uh, to flip. This will be sold. We're going to sell this bike. Uh, so we'll store it. Today we were at work. Found something on Facebook. Thought it'd be a good buy. Talked the guy down 200 more dollars than we was asking. So even better of a buy. Uh, so yeah, after work we went and picked it up tonight. Uh, so uh, we figured we'd do a little reveal. It's ugly as shit. <laughs> it's an ugly bite, but me and Blake are gonna fix it up right, make it look good. Probably sell, more than likely sell. We'll, fi we'll figure that out. We're gonna fix it up real nice. It does run, so that's a that's a plus. Don't think it needs any motor work, maybe a little car work, but other than that, uh, I think it's gonna make a good bike, good project for YouTube. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, I guess it's time to do a little reveal here. stroke literally just got here we haven't even looked over this bike we know nothing about it we picked up in the dark loaded up in the dark now we got it in the building so uh back fenders obviously broke the same looks like a fucking half pipe these plastics are pretty fucking dry rotted so we'll do some research no, maybe front number my, plate doesn't switch. Maybe, maybe some more plastics on here we'll figure that out at kill switch yeah kill, kill start <laughs> We, we got, got a kill switch. switch. That bitch is just hanging around. Yeah, there's the back's missing. These fork guards. Fork guards are missing. Uh, Petcock is leaking if you hadn't noticed that. Yeah, we got a little drip on the Petcock. So I'm going to do a... I'm not going to do a redo. It. I'm just going to take it apart, clean it real good, throw it back on there. If that fixed it, cool deal. Save me eight bucks. I believe that's how much my 125 Petcock rebuild. If you now if you want to learn how to do that, we got a video on that. Y'all can look that up. Uh, leave a link down in the description. Yeah, so sprockets look good, nice and sharp. Uh, chain's a little rusty. We'll spray some leaf on her. Got some weird looking little guards here. Yeah, I've never seen that. Uh, I don't even know if the other side has one. The other side does not have one, so we'll probably get rid of that. That's ugly as shit. Some new grips would do. Yeah, we're definitely going to throw some new grips on there. These things already got some sick handlebars on it. Uh, some Renthals, yeah. I like the, the blue. blue. They look really sick. Awesome. So we might throw some like gray and yellow grips on here. I think that would look sick as fuck. Uh, maybe some new plastics. Maybe some graphics. Definitely a clean up. You can expect the next video on this is to, the clean. Oh yeah. This Back thing's coming up. all the way apart. We're going to clean this shit out of this thing. Has a factory racing boys in magneto cover. <laughs> and uh, also has, was told boys in reeds. We'll look that on. I mean, we'll take it apart and make sure that's you know, confirm that before we list that on our description for sale. All right, so we're spinning her around. Um, over here, we got a broken front brake lever. We'll definitely replace that. Oh, Pro yeah. circuit. Pro circuit right. Um, while I'm right here, I'm gonna open up this uh, radiator. It's got black radiators on it. That's kind of weird. Let's see if the antifreeze is looking like. It's looking like there isn't any. Uh, That's not good. That might get off. Actually, uh, I had a bike, KX125, just got rid of. Uh, I was mixing gasoline, mix gas into your radiators, and uh, I don't think that's the problem here. This bike's been sitting since, uh, I think, since over the summer. So it's been yeah. sitting for a good five or so months, and they ran it straight out of gas, so carb should be okay. Uh, the guy actually started it up, so it does run. Um, I don't know if we want to run it right now because there's no, there's no antifreeze in it. And um, yeah, I mean, we know it runs, so we're we're cool with that. Uh, the running sounded good. It didn't sound like no clanking, nothing retarded. So uh, yeah, next is definitely gonna be 
disassemble, clean up. This thing's nasty as shit. Um, yeah, so uh, I actually like this side of the seat, man. This side of the seat looks pretty clean all the way back. It's got like a little brown spots right here, which I don't think is going to come off. I think it's going to have to be like that, unfortunately. I would like to have a mint seat because that looks cool as crap, man. So far, there's been like probably 100 to $200 needed to be spent so far. Yeah. And we have some of these parts, so it's not a huge deal if we don't uh, yeah. do something. I have some. I have some leather, so we might not even have that. Uh, $15 grips, uh, front tire's decent, back tire, it, we'll probably throw one on there, maybe, right. maybe not, I don't know, we'll see. Um, so, another $50 right there, uh, clean up, that's obviously free, because we do that, uh, <laughs> um, and that's going to make the world of difference on this thing, cleaning yeah. it up, this I thing's think. obviously never been washed in its life, uh, check those spokes right there, Blake, tell me yeah. what you think. So when you're looking at a bike, check your back spokes. Uh, Truman and tightening spokes can be a real big pain in the ass. So this could make or break you probably, you know. Um, Just about, mm, I'd say. I hear some loose ones over there. 15% on my loose. I'd well, say 25% on my loose. And the ones that are loose are extremely loose. Okay, so that's, that's not good. <laughs> we didn't check that just because... It was it was cheap enough, you know. Uh, I have a spoke wrench. Obviously, we'll try spray some WD forty on the nipples and tighten them ourselves. If we can't get them to tighten up like we want, we're gonna have to buy new spokes. Most of the times, they most of the time they seize up. They get dirt in them. They'll seize up, and you'll be spending about fifty bucks on some new spokes, and then relacing it yourself, which takes about an hour. And then we just take it to Triangle Cycles, our local motor shop, to get them to true it because I don't want to do that. It's tedious, takes a whole lot of time, and I'd just rather go pay somebody about $45, $70 to do it. So that could be a potential another $120, $140 bucks right there. So yeah, definitely oil change. Air filter clean. Air filter might be shit, might be trash, might have to buy a new one. Could just fall apart when we try to wash it. That happens yeah. quite often. Uh, turn on that notification bell so you can check out the new upcoming videos of the YZ. Yeah, we'll be throwing them out there, what, like once a week? Or, yeah. you know, something well, like that. See how I'm planning out the videos? It's going to be a Honda video, a Kawasaki video, and a Yamaha video because we have three di different builds going on. Uh, this was more of a cosmetic build. The high was an engine rebuild, and the uh, little 125 is just a little cleanup. That's all that one was. But uh, I'm about to I'm about to have something really big come up um, that y'all I'm sure would be super excited to see, and uh, you can expect to see that probably here soon, like in a couple of days. If you like a new project, please like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.